guys get that offensive outburst yesterday? Uh, Casey obviously leads the way with three home runs. Had to feel good from an offensive perspective to kind of be in good spirits heading into this weekend. Well, it was nice. I thought we played very well yesterday in all uh, aspects. Uh, we started out getting great uh, starting pitching from uh, Rob McDonald, and then our relievers did a good job. Uh, defensively, we were solid. And then to have that type of offensive outburst, as you said, uh, it, it was really nice. Casey did a good job. Uh, it's nice to you know, open up that margin and, and uh, you know, not that you ever relax, but uh, can play, you know, without the one run pressure. What changes as far as an approach is concerned when you have a team like Indiana that comes in here you're, you're chasing as opposed to Michigan State who's chasing you guys? In the big you know, as a team, we really don't uh, change our approach with anything. Uh, we try not to have a lot of ups and downs during the season. We try to approach every team all the time in the same manner. I think if you put too much emphasis on uh, the teams ahead of you, then sometimes you lose focus on the teams behind you and you don't play as well. So uh, there won't be any difference uh, from what we've done from week to week. Is there anything in particular that stands out about the Spartans and the, maybe the scouting reports that you've seen so far? Well, they are always very well coached. We know that. Uh, Jake Boss does a great job. Uh, they've got very good pitching. Looks like their starters uh, you know, are, are solid. Uh, got good velocity. Uh, got a lot of left-handers out of the bullpen. Uh, and they're a physical team from an offensive standpoint. So, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's just another week in the Big Ten. Uh, I think Michigan State's one of the better teams in the Big Ten, and, and we're going to have to do a good job. Uh, two more questions for you. Big day for Saturday as far as the troops are concerned. Kind of talk about what's going on with the team that day and uh, what, what the cause is. Well, it's our uh, annual honor and serve day, and it was created. Uh, uh, this will be our third annual. And uh, we, we want to honor uh, the military and what they do for the co our country and, uh, you know, allowing all of us to have our freedoms and uh, for us to be able to be out on a baseball field playing. Uh, I think that's, uh, you know, something our guys need to understand. That's an honor and a privilege. Uh, and then uh, the serve portion is uh, doing something to serve the community. So the camouflage uh, jerseys that uh, we're just going to wear that day will be auctioned off and uh, all proceeds from that will go to CASA. Uh, for this year's uh, you know, recipient. Very nice. And uh, last question, Kevin Duchesne, what's the latest on him? I know you said a forearm injury a couple mm -hmm. weeks ago. Is How's he rehabbing from that? What's his timetable? Well, the, re the rehab has gone very, very well. Uh, we're pleased with uh, with his progress to this point. Uh, you know, Today is going to be another throwing day for him. We'll see how he reacts to that. And uh, Once we get through today, we'll make some more decisions as to you know where, where he's at and, and uh, what he can do to try to help us in the game situation.